watch it though. I haven't seen it. Like, I'm attracted people are shit. very needy. They always want something. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Welcome to the fun. Wait, Kevin Hart dropped a new stand-up? I've never seen that stand-up. Unattractive people are very needy. They always want something. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Yo, is that Kevin Hart? We already rolling? Oh, we going. And do you have like a, uh, is there like, you know, an intro or is it? What? We already going. You don't do nothing like, hey, this is, welcome to the Funny Marco show, like, no. No, we already going. <laughs> uh, you handsome. All right, this is it then. Yeah. We in it. Yeah. Well, you don't have an introduction, but let me at least start off by saying, man, I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think, uh, yeah, you're talented. I've seen the other interviews that you've done and, you know, do your, your don't just say you're doing your you're doing your thing. So, you agree when people say we look alike? What? I mean, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. All subjective, I guess. What do you mean? So, like, you you agree we look just alike? I think as black as black men. No. You know, <laughs> as black like yeah like it's almost like like a like a, a ugly say yo yeah i look just like you like hold up yeah i'm just gone too too far. Some people be like oh you can't heart it's people that are getting me confused i yeah. took pictures and act like this for a lot i just i do it yeah, all right yeah so like when you do play your movie yeah you mind me playing the star of of that yeah i don't know i don't understand I don't understand what's happening. I think, um, look, I think that there's a, there's a synergy that you can find in similarities, cadences, mannerisms, facial expressions, right? And sometimes those things position what could be deemed as a parallel. So you're trying to T.I. me with words? No. What does that mean? I'm Not using big words to get me lost. Well. The parallel is a big word to you. We're in trouble, buddy. Yeah. We got a long way to go. Uh, so I got here. Yeah. So why is Soul Plane your favorite movie? Uh, Soul Plane is probably my favorite movie because it's, uh, I think, the second, the second defining movie that, that launched me into any type of like uh, success. Soul Plane was the, the start. Paper Soldiers and Soul Plane, mm -hmm. two favorite movies. Without those movies... Mm -hmm. I don't get an opportunity to do what I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. How That's do you why. feel about the people that, you know, bootleg the movie? Mm -hmm. That just got it that bootleg. How do you feel about that? I don't knock the bootlegging moment. Mm -hmm. Without the bootlegging moment, I wouldn't have gotten the yeah, fans that I got thing. that made the decision to come to comedy clubs mm -hmm. um, in bulk during that time, right? Like mm -hmm. the bootleg is what gave them just an alignment with me. Like, oh my God, that's the guy the movie that's supposed to come out in four months that we that's saw that funny marco look better than kevin hart so those people yeah are they thieves or you know dishonest i think it depends on how you look at it mm -hmm. supporters is what i call them yeah mm. so funny marco prize pick scene two take two prize pick is an app where you download and you pick more or less on players slap comedy Mm -hmm. Nothing else mattered at the time. So, right. you know, this was a big moment, but it wasn't a life-changing moment. Oh, was you broke? Oh, yeah, I mean. Mm -hmm. Where'd you work? I was, a, I was a comedian. So all of my, all of my eggs were in that basket. I didn't, I didn't have multiple mm -hmm. jobs. Like when I chose to do comedy, it was that or nothing else. Mm -hmm. That's so, what niggas said. Then, uh, 40 year old version scene. When you got that scene, how was that? When you came in, the pawn shop, 40 year version TV shop. I just want to, by the way, this is not a, a note because I'm here on your platform. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to finish the stuff that we were talking. Like, are we, do we kind of like put a button on some of that stuff or we just leave that, we kind of just leave that 
un, like okay. What was I, your I'm favorite tra- stand up special? Forty Year Virgin. Yeah, but what when it comes to you did so many special stand ups. What is this? What was your favorite one? You want me to answer the forty year old version question? Or no? I mean, we're gonna stand up now. You done so many. Which one was the best one? Uh, in my opinion, I'm gonna say seriously funny. Mm-hmm. Why? Wow. Yeah, that was one of the ones right there. Seriously, what got you into working out? Like the fact that you work out mm-hmm. and you got into fitness is very important. Why do you feel like workout is very well, important? I feel like seriously funny was just a defining <laughs> moment for me. Like, Honestly, man, you really think yeah, about my body work out. And that's why I started working out. Right. Because of the way that I looked on the special. Mm-hmm. So you don't work with a lot of people. What was the moment when you was happy to work next to somebody? Like, hey, I'm really working with him. Yo. I just don't believe that this question is going to last. So I'm going to wait for you to say the question. No, no, I want to know. Because you didn't work with a lot of big people. If it was my guess, I'd say The Rock. You would say, why? Because he's the biggest? Like in stature or no just because y'all had a good chemistry i have a good chemistry with everyone i work with yeah but that one was kind of like a chemistry like like a chemistry what is that what what'd you just do yeah what's that like fuck with me oh that's your thing yeah oh yeah got it um i would say You got to be honest with you, man. Me and The Rock, really close. Um, me and Ice Cube, we're far great off. relationship. Will Farrell. Will what? Will Farrell. What Who, about you and him? You said Will Farrell? Will Farrell. Will Farrell. Farrell. Will Farrell. Tomato, tomato. Not in that case. <laughs> not in like that in case. the movie, not, uh, was that was the jail movie, Knocked Up. Knocked Up was not a jail movie, first of all. Knocked Up is a completely different movie. What was the, the jail movie? I did a jail movie? When you was going to jail, when you had to go to jail, you pretend like you had to help him from stop going to jail. What was all? It was called Get Hard. Oh, wow. Yeah, nowhere near Knocked Up. Similar. Like, what type of, it's similar. Are we doing research knocked or we up. just kind of? No, 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 I got, that was me. I can say that was, I, it's so many movies you got. That's yeah. a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you forget your movies like, oh, damn, I did that. Right? No. No, I kind of I kind of know them all. How was you in high school? How was you in high school? How was I in high school? Yeah. Um I mean, I don't know. I think I was a I was a pretty cool kid. I never had any problems. Mm-hmm. I'm saying like do teachers look back and be like, "Yeah, that was him." Like, we seen you, we knew you was going to be famous. No, I don't think nobody knew that I would become what I am today. I think people knew I was a talented, good kid. I had a good heart, loving kid. I was always funny. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Talented hit kid, yeah. got a good heart. It's crazy. What else are you looking for there? Uh, you, you are being hat is crazy. like music. You really love music, right? And yes or no? It? That's the qu- No, yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Oh, question. Answer this question. Right now, you will lose everything in the world, and you gotta get this right. Name three Flavor Flav songs. Name three Flavor Flav songs. Yeah, or you lose everything. Okay, well, you would ask me to name three Public Enemy songs. No, I said Flavor Flav. Well, Flavor Flav was a part of a group. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But he got some solo. I don't too. know. I don't know Flavor Flav songs. I'm not aware of Flavor Flav solo. Solo songs, so if I'm gonna lose everything, I don't know a flavor flav song. <laughs> okay, can you educate me and tell me what? Uh, yeah, boy, the clock is ticking and a block is hot. You're lying. <laughs> Are those real songs? That's a fucking lie. Yeah, boy, is what he said. The clock is ticking has never been a song. You're saying that because he had a clock on. <laughs> <laughs> the block is hot is not something that they said back then. He just fucking lied. And it was quick, too. Straight face. That's a sickness. Nigga just made that up? That's When's crazy. a good time 
to give a motivation speech. A, when someone's hitting you. B, when somebody got you in the headlock. Or C, just answer the question. Marco, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> like, dude, I'm, I'm saying this humbly. I'm a big guest. I, I thought that you would like have right. like some questions. That's not a question. That's not like a question worth my, you get what I'm saying? Like, right. I'm not giving a motivational speech during none of that. In the headlock or what was somebody the first? Push, somebody pushing you. <laughs> I'm just trying to see how you think outside of this. I think, me, I think you and I may just think different, man. Yeah. I mean, as we can see, I'm doing big things, and you there? Yeah. Yeah. Marco, you don't have a shirt on under a wool blazer. We do stuff different. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the pan out got it. He do have a wool blazer on. Like, he's itching crazy right now. Are you itching? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Get through it. What's your nickname? Yeah, uh, several. What's the one that you like? The kid. What about Bookie Bear? Where'd that come about? I've never been called Bookie Bear in my life. The don't, kid. No, don't lie. Little hot feet. Little hot feet. The pay per view. Box office uh, killer. Mm. Comedic rock star. Dope Daryl. And Bookie Bear. I've never been called Bookie Bear. There's nobody. Yeah, it's like the first. This, I'm not gonna lie, this is why it's funny, bro. Funny Marco, the first nigga to get Kevin Hart on a on a show and play around. <laughs> never. This kid is playing with his stuff. time. So if I called you right now on your phone and you picked up and I called you Bookie Bear. You got the wrong number. If you was like, is the kid there? Mm -hmm. I thought like, you got. <laughs> Who you? calls him the kid? 44. Not a kid, though. Who calls him the kid? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> what do you uh what do you do on a daily basis? I work, Marco. Yeah. Outside of that. Like what do you do for fun? What do I do for fun? Yeah. Work? Right. I enjoy work. A gift that you bought somebody. That you remember that you bought somebody. Why'd you buy it? A gift that I bought somebody. Mm. And the reason behind me. No, 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 no. Like, why'd you, why, why you, uh. These are all your notes. Yeah. Okay. What the hell is that? You got, do you have somebody that helps you with this or is it just you? It was just you. Yo, what the hell was that? Figuring it out yourself. I wrote them on my iPad. Okay. Yeah. You don't have like a producer that you've attached to the show that can help you kind of navigate through this a little better? I feel like it's going great. I just feel like one thing, and it's dope that you like, you, I told you I was busy when you asked me, you're like, let's get the show done. I'm like, I'm busy. I'm busy. You like, I'll fly you out. Let's get it done. You know? It's dope that you kept asking that. And I'm like, damn, he really wanna sit down with me. What made you wanna sit down with me? You did not go like that. <laughs> the second lie you told. Hmm. You're lying. I don't know. Why act like that. That's a fucking lie. Just I don't say just it. Act like it. You said, dude, this would be great if you come on. Sit on my right. show, do an interview. I say, you know what, for you, I'll do it. I yeah, know. You were like, all right, where do I go? Wherever I'm at, you just got to figure it out. Yeah, and I'm at your office. Yeah, you're at my office. I know, but we ain't got to do it. I'm saying, don't tell everybody that, though. I know my grandma and my Marco, son. the reason why I wanted to do the show with you, man, is because I felt you're a talented guy. This was a great opportunity for me to build my brand. <laughs> <laughs> My grandma watch it. Your grandma. Yeah. Can you do a little bit more energy? I'll Kevin, be honest with you, Marco. Right, wait, let me ask the question. Hey, what made you want to just beg me to do a show? Like, you need me so much. Why? <laughs> let my people know. Grandma. 
I'm at a point in my career, man, where I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm leaning on those that's got to figure it out, man. And when I, when I watch you, the way that you're moving in this business, how you're navigating through the trenches, right? Right. See the things that you were able to do on the street, like with the guy on the street stuff. Right. Right. When you right. had, you know, the bits. That stuff was good. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, I got to get some of that. <laughs> I gotta figure that out. But this is my Yo, way. Kevin Hart looks done, bro. I'm not gonna into lie. Into your wheelhouse of stuff, man. There's a lot of shit going on. What you doing? Now I know your family, know. I know your grandma's proud. Yeah. She saw the thing you did at Walmart. No, she. I don't. You didn't see none of that stuff. No, nah, I'm doing movies. But the stuff that you did, yeah. Then, but I'm doing a lot of movies right you now. He's going to the. To the department stores. You yeah, put, I know. The thing you did where you put the bucket on the guy's head. I was, didn't do that. That was crazy. No, I didn't do that. That stuff is no, gold. I didn't do that. Okay, but or I didn't when do you that. do the things where you're like, that's not me, Kev. Okay? I'm I'm talking like I'm on the phone and somebody's like, what? And you're like, I wasn't talking to you. That <laughs> is gold. I mean, how you saying it make it seem like it was kind of corny, but at the time it was great. That's not, I never said that. And by yeah. the way, if your grandma's watching, I'm showing support. Yeah. My mama too. What are you, what are you doing? Like, hmm. Let's be real here. Ask the fucking question. Mm -hmm. Damn it, Marco. What was you doing in this picture? <laughs> that's not me, that's a doppelganger. A doppelganger. <laughs> You know what a doppelganger is? Is this was that the person? That's not me. That's a doppelganger. If no, you put it up on the screen, this is what people won't get to look at it. That's a guy who looks just like me. And to my knowledge, I think he's in like South Africa or something. It's crazy. But it's mm -hmm. not me. I mean. It's what, not me. What was you doing? Yo. <laughs> How you got to meet? That is not me. Bro, I look just like him though. What's his name? Um Okay, bless you. Not me. I know, dude, it's scary. It's crazy. They say we all got a doppelganger. Do you do you know? Like if you have one? Mm. What do they say? They, Everybody has they a doppelganger? Uh, all of us. Seal. Who? You said you look like Seal? I thought that's what you were gonna say. <laughs> no, what'd you say? Nothing. Oh. What'd you say, Seal? Why did I say so? It's only one reason you could say so. Why? <laughs> they can say he looks like me. Seal, bro. He's an amazing man. Miles, a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Talented individual. Beautiful family. What's wrong with me saying so? Whoever said something was wrong with it. You, the way that you're attacking me, as if there's like a... <laughs> everyone has a doppelganger. Everybody. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know your, I mean, you have to know. Do you know why people don't like to let them know why they at the door? What you, the fuck? What what just happened, man? I mean, Did you have a stroke? <laughs> Do I know why people don't let so them? Basically, when people knock at the door and they be like, who is it? They be like, it's me. Just open the door. Why don't people want to say who they are? Be real, just tell me your honest opinion. Because it's a surprise, Marco. Oh. You like surprises? Yes. Mm -hmm. You having a good time? This this is a big surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this this the right liquor here. is really great. I love it. I'm talking about the level the level of prep mm -hmm. that you have done to maximize your time here. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. It was the hat. Yeah. Now I know who you look like. Who? Willis from Different Strokes. Yes. Willis from Different Strokes. I feel like I've seen or, Funny Marble and Spongebob um, before. Family Matters. Not, not, um, not the brother. 
Who was his friend? Who was who was his friend? Y'all know. Who was the friend that had the high top? Oh my God! You can pull him up on your phone. I'm gonna think of it later. You look like his friend. You look like um, Laura Winslow's brother's best friend. Come on, man. Wildo. Hell yeah. Who that? I just told you from Family Matters. Wildo. Oh, I never watched Family Matters before. Well, you got to see it now. Mm -hmm. Either, either, yep. Either, yeah, I'm going those two. The two that I just said. Mm -hmm. I got it. Once you put the hat down, I got it. Mm. Now the seal shit got it. Lamont from Sanford and Son. <laughs> Dude, you kind of got a piece of everybody. Like, and that's dope. Mm -hmm. that's he's trying to say Uggs. Line me up with them all. Take them down. Like me and your one-on-one. -on -one. What do you mean you'll take them down? What are you doing? I'm your, saying like your that. your business. It's your business. No, I'm saying like you don't gotta explain it to me, buddy. No, like I'm a handsome guy, like top 100 guy, like handsome. If I could go for like a sex appeal, hey man, we are what we feel we are. Yeah, yeah no, I know I'm that. I'm not here to negate that. Yeah, but I know for a fact. Me against you, I will. I'm there. Bottom line, I'm gonna win. Most handsome. Okay. I have an honest question. Just give me an honest answer. Right. Do you what? have an ink blot on your neck? Put you on a blonde date with Mod. Why does it have to yeah. be blonde? I got tattoos when I was. That's a tattoo. Like, how do you look? <laughs> yeah, I was. That you to wanted be, to be a blonde. You don't have to explain it anymore. I blonde thought date. You don't have to explain it anymore. I used to get. I did not know. I'm trying to tell you. Fine. I don't want to tell you though. It's fine. Uh, Is that why to... you don't have a shirt on to show your tattoo? I'll be working out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What do you feel like advice? For me and other people. What is it? Are you saying advice? Like, yeah, advice. you say, what do I feel like advice is for you? What yeah, you advice saying? for everybody. He know what I look what? like already? He's seen What's my advice TikTok? advice for everybody? I don't know. What, people have different vices. You got, you you got know, Twitter, what, uh, what you Ma got? Jane? Because you got some stuff. Say the stuff you be saying. What? The stuff. Like advice. Like, give us... Give us something. If what the fuck are you saying, man? What are you saying? Are you saying advice? Like, yo, he's done. What advice? He's done. He wants to leave. What <laughs> I want to give somebody, or what are people's vices? What are you yeah. saying? What, what are the vices you got for the people? Where are you from? Let's see. Okay. Um. What advice do I have for the people, man? DM the me people. on the gram then. The people. I get mad yeah. DMs though, so I might. I'm gonna assume you mean everybody by yeah. the people. Live your can life. You look into the camera and. Can I fucking answer a question? Yeah. What camera do you want me to look into? Uh, that's your camera. That's my. Then what camera is that? Uh, that's the one that just got us together. So that's your two shot. Yeah. What's a two shot, Marco? We're gonna shoot it two times. My advice to everybody is to live your life to the fullest. Can you add a little bit more onto it? This is where somebody gonna take this clip out of the interview with your word really matter. And they gonna add sad music behind it. So it looks sad while you do it, please. All right, one, two, three, I don't, need, I don't need to give advice in a sad manner. Can you just look sad while you're doing no, it? No, that doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm giving people encouraging advice. Okay, smile while doing it. <laughs> Action one. Yo, bro, the fake smile got it, bro. Start the advice. Yo, what's wrong with this nigga, bro? My advice to everyone is to, to live life to the, to the folks. A little bit more. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Fuck you. Me? Come on, man, and just do this. This is getting stupid. I look up to you, man. Not like that, you don't. <laughs> Not with them eyes. I'm following your footsteps, your blueprint. <laughs> And I'm right behind you. I'm, on, I'm, I'm right behind you. I'm right. I'm this close to everybody comparing me to your name. And I feel like you're nervous. Okay, let's, let's just address two things. First of all, I would want nothing more than for you to have the unlimited amount of success that is meant for you. I'm here for it. I'm supporting. I'm even alongside you 
thing, let's go, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm also going to be honest with you. And I'm going to say, like, not having a higher level of preparation and understanding for, like, how interviews should be conducted, well, that's not following my footsteps because I'm, I'm a well-prepped fucking machine. I'm not prepped. I'm not a Thanksgiving dinner. I go in raw and I come out raw. I go straight in forward. That's the difference between you. I'm you, but I'm like the you that you used to be in Paper Soldiers. The person you was in 40 old version because you didn't even know you had that role. They called you and they said, come and be funny. And you came in. I'm not about to go and answer this again because you didn't let me answer the first time. But you was not supposed to be in that movie. Hey man, you should have said this when you first asked. I'm not going backwards with this interview. We're well past this moment. Whoever said this is an interview, I'm sitting down talking to you. Marco, I got cameras and shit in here, man. So what is first 48 hours when they put him in a room and interrogate him? Is that an interview? Or yes, interrogation? Marco, it actually is an interview. So what's the difference between interrogation and interview? Interrogation is an interview where I'm looking for information to come to a conclusion of guilt for something. An interview is something where I'm looking for questions and answers based off of knowledge that I may not have that I feel the world should know. Ultimately, they both are a tool used to get information. So you think you're better than me now that you said it like that? That's what you took from my answer because I gave you a well thought out answer? <laughs> yeah, that was a well thought out answer though. What in the public school is fucking happening here? That was a beautiful huh? I didn't go to school. No shit. <laughs> you don't get a surprise reaction from me. Duh. Duh. I'm letting people know you ain't got to go to school to get where I'm at. Boom. <laughs> Man, I'm going to be honest with you, Marco. <laughs> this ain't good. Okay? This is not good. This is not the precedent that you want to set. Okay? That was an excellent answer. You don't want to set this, man. Yeah, I want some fried chicken. You got people that's looking at you and shit, trying to figure out how you're doing it. And now I done got to see behind the scenes, and I'm going to tell them, there ain't shit to figure out, man. <laughs> Get yourself an iPad and just jot some shit down in the notes section and show up and shoot the shit. That's what we doing. Let's shoot the shit. That's all I got. Respect. 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 Yeah, I'm feeling better nice. than she plays. Thank you for asking, man. Now. This is part of what we bought. I got those new balances that you got on, too. This look cool. Oh, Bob, check, Bob, check, y'all. This is the part where we vibing. I'm sitting here with the one and only Kevin, and we about to vibe. And we're going to add slow music and just vibe. You didn't want to play the slow music before so I could hear what it sounds like, so I can match the energy of the slow music? No, we're going to add it on the video. Yeah, I don't know what Where the- we vibing? Come on, man. Keep talking. Hey, chill out. You drink your drink. Nigga <laughs> said- Oh, man. Some Thank y'all for watching the Bob check. We back again. We're here with Funny Marco and- the one and only Kevin. Round of applause. <laughs> All right. The fact we just went through the vibe check. How you feeling? This thing. A little confused. Well, kind of round of applause. <laughs> how long have you been confused? Uh, probably. Give it up for the up. <laughs> yeah, this is great. No, this is great. Thank you. Yeah. I'm feeling your vibe. <laughs> um, this is legendary for me. There's only one you. Mm -hmm. And... There's only one of any group, everybody. How does that feel? Well, there's only one you too, Marco. I got a daughter. A version of you through your bloodline, but I mean, you. 
funny mock. There's only one funny mock. Have you been through a high school fight before? Have yeah. you lost a fight before? Be honest. I'm gonna cut this out. I don't like it. I don't like it when you do that. I don't like it when you ask me a question. I'm gonna answer the question. Then you say another question. Cause right? my mom. My... No, don't do that. I'm shocked. I know, but don't. I'm sitting next to Kevin. That's not. You're not giving me an opportunity. I know, to but I'm game. shocked. I'm sitting next to Kevin. I'm four and up. You four and up. Four and up. You never lost a fight. I am undefeated. Can't be real. You ask me a question, and because you asked me a question, I got a chance to answer the question. You have Before never got okay. Yeah, you ain't never. Nobody. I've never lost Don't a know, fucking fight. Me and you, you can cut it out. In the third grade, in the third grade, I put a tennis ball in a sock, hit this guy in the face with the tennis ball in the sock, homie the clown style, because he was bullying people, and I was sick of it. Small guy, big heart. Wah! And I was like, we had enough of your shit. This was in like the third grade. And that's when I knew I had it in me. He's like, whoa, 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 don't hit me no more. Mm. Like some, like seriously, like almost mafia type stuff. The like kids that. in class was like, whoa. I had a couple of kids grab me to calm me down. Um, he didn't bleed or anything like that, right, but it was definitely an chicken. effect. It was a Good moment where chicken. So you like, need weapons to win. That wasn't a weapon, it was a tennis ball. I didn't trust my arm and my aim to throw the tennis ball and hit him. So I felt the best thing to do was put it in the sock. Do this with the sock so that the sock stretched out. Bah! Hit him from afar. That was my first win. Uh, you know, I don't condone this in no way, shape, or form, but we're just being honest. Uh, in the sixth grade, um, there was a larger girl in my class. Mm -hmm. Grabbed my hoodie, snatched my neck back. I ain't like it. I said, don't do that. She hit me. All right, you did this to yourself. You remember the DDT? It was a wrestling move that was yeah, out. Yeah, Matt Hardy. Headlock, smack they back, go down. Bop, ddt her. Uh, she sleep, 2-0. and oh. um, After that, high school. Now I'm in ninth grade, I'm a freshman, walking the hallways. I didn't have a dangerous high school, but I felt like I needed to establish my dominance early on. I got into it with a guy in the lunchroom, and it was simple, he bumped me. He's like, yo, little man, watch out. What'd you say? Little man, before he finished man. Bah! Right hand. <sighs> three and oh. Last fight, this is probably about three years ago. Um, I'm in New York, trying to get in a taxi. Guy tries to take my taxi. I grab him. Seriously, not making this up at all. I grab him, I said. How you, how you grab him? Wait a second. Like this? No. I got to do this seriously. Yeah. No, seriously, so. All right, you the guy. This is right. a taxi right, right here, right? I'm going to grab it. Like I held him down. Okay. No, no, you go grab the door. Oh, okay. Like this with your hand. I said, right. put right. your hand up like you mean oh. it. Right? Look at me. That's my taxi, punk. Right? Right. He was like, get your hands off of me. Try to take your hand out. I hit him. Right? right. He went down. When he goes down, the guy get out the taxi. He's like, not in my, not in front of my. Bro, this nigga soldier boy with the taxi. story. Right? Without, without even thinking. Jay Ski, about it. nigga is soldier boy. Boom, go boy down with the his story. neck. He didn't break it, but I heard something. He's out, right? Uh, now because it's a mess, other people are looking around. I look like the bad guy. I don't want to look like the bad guy. They just I'm seen, telling people. They just seen the fight. Well, yeah, but I'm telling but they, people they, they bought it on themselves. He, they didn't see when he. They didn't see the hand grab. I'm like, they right. bought it on themselves. But he, when he went for the door. He he just still, said, but I grabbed grab his hand like here, that. right? Right. That's mine. That's mine. Listen. Right? Listen, listen. Hey, look. I grabbed him, right? Bow. Right. Now, here. Bow. Do, do the grab. Here's what we get. Here's what we get. Listen. Here's what we get. Grab it. Get off me. Listen. Here's what we get real crazy. People now are in a frenzy. Everybody's like, yo, that's crazy. And one guy was like, you don't put your hands on people. He came up to me. At this time is when I was in karate. Tap this leg. Roundhouse. Bop. I'll do it. Right? right? No, no, no. Don't. Stop hitting me. I went like this. I said, right? Bop! Nigga said, stop hitting me. Took him down, but now I'm in my karate stance. By the way, for years, I kept this a secret because I don't want people knowing that I know martial arts. Taekwondo. Right? No. Stop. So, so when I'm fucking here, right, I hit him with the kick. Now, now, his brother there. Right. His brother there. So his brother come out. In the middle of New York. Yeah, we in Times Square. So his brother come out. You know those knives, the butterfly knives? Mm-hmm. I'm so trained with a butterfly knife, it's ridiculous. I don't yeah. want to use it, but I got it. I pull it out. By this point, everybody like. Marco, shut the fuck up, listen. So he comes, I got the butterfly knife. 
Stop. Right. Stop. Stop. Right. Uh, end it. He's like, you gonna stab me? I throw it. He had him like a hat on. And I take the hat, put the hat up against the wall. Right. This hat. So I said, at any time, that could have been your forehead or your eyes. I made the choice to let you live. People hear it. They go crazy. He's a ninja. I said, did you say nigga, bitch? Uh, and like, you gotta remember, this is my strong kick leg. Right. So with a step, I can kill you. Like right now, if I take one, two, put that in there, I'll take your chest out and fucking kill you. Exactly. But I took the chance. Yeah, don't I me. faked this one, came here. Whoop! She had a bag on. Kicked the bag over her head. And you said that could have been. I let the bag knock her out. Right. Because now she can't say I put my hands on you. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all strategic. This right. Way, in the human resource side, I'm protected. You are. So I got a lady down, two dudes down, his brother's down, taxi driver is down. At this point, I got no choice but to get in the cab and drive myself to where I got to go. Um, and I mean, you could probably find this online. I'm quite sure if you Google it. Right. Uh, this is so much it's shit. Kevin, Kevin so takes much over. Work. Kevin takes over New York or Kevin fucks up New York. Right. Um, but that's the day I was like 4-0. Right. And I haven't fought since. And I don't want to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like when you when you got you got what I got, you keep that shit in your pocket. Right. I'm a walking motherfucking death trap. Right. Bro, what is he drinking? Bob check, Bob check. We vibing part two. So with me and him vibing, it's your boy Funny Marco, vibing with the one and only Park Kevin. <laughs> Nigga bumping his head to no music. Yeah, he was, that was 10 minute story. <laughs> What to do, y'all? The fact that y'all just watched us, Bob, that is so dope. You made it this far, and we know why you here, and we bobbing. But appreciate y'all for checking the Bob check. There's the Bob check, part two. You just make that up today? The Bob check shit, or you been doing that? No, it's probably, you the first one. Uh, I will cut it. I should have explained the rules to you. But it's something I, I made up right now. You know, so I'm gonna just do it. All right. I love the liquor, by the way, too. Thank you. It tastes good. Thank you. Move. You can just say the name of it. Grand Cormino. Probably better. Great Coin. Great Cormino. Grand Cormino. Grand Cormino. Grand Cormino. Grand Cormino. I'm saying it. Make sure y'all go get the Grand Carmino in the store near you. Waste your not. Worldwide. Grand Carmino in the store near you. If you can't afford it, steal it. Take it off the shelf. Run out with it. He got it. Steal it, it's in a gray box. Take it out the box. All right. All right. Okay, buddy. Let's uh, let's just get rid of it. Let's just get rid of it. Yeah. And wrap it up. Oh, I've been ready to wrap it up, Kev. <laughs> I've been done. I was just waiting on you to get up. Okay. That's how we do it. When you're ready to get up, we're done. So, either you leave or I leave. You don't close it out. No. No, you just get up. I'm saying the longer you sit here, the longer. Keep... I get that. Right. Why don't, so, why Kev, don't we so just put tell a us about on tell it, us so. about how did you start your journey? Um, all right. I get it. I do. I get it. Um, I just want to say, Marco, that, you know, I think what you got here, special. Um, and I think, uh, you know, I just think like with the right, with the right effort, like there's a, if there's a level of give a shit that you can attach to this, Brett, Right, um, I think this. Can, I think this can be big. Mm -hmm. 
What was that? I'm nervous. That's what you do when you're nervous? Yeah. So, y'all, we waiting on Kevin to get up? Hey, man. Yeah. I'm trying to, like, put a fucking button on it. Yeah, you got to salvage it. whatever we can from this moment, okay? Yeah. Marco, what do you want out of life? Uh, to be the next Ellie. Bro, what's wrong with this nigga? What, is, what does that mean? You the biggest. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I feel like I'm going number one with the talk host. You're going number one with the talk host. Show. Sure. Anybody. You're like, going number one with the talk host show. Yeah. I want you to say that out loud and tell me how that sounds to you. Say it. I'm going number one. I'm going number one. I'm going number one host with the talk show. I'm going number one with the host talk show. How's that sound? Stupid. You heard that, right? Yeah. I'll cut that part out the interview. You'll cut that part out. Yeah. I think you should keep it. No, I'm going to have let you say it. Yeah. Why did you just say that, Kevin? I'm going number one with the host talk show. Wow. I'm Funny Marco, and I'm the number one host talk show. Nah, that's my security shit. That's what I am. I'm an unprepared dickhead. That's what I am. The number nah, one host talk phones. funny guy. My grandma watched it. I apologize. Yeah. I heard the apologize. I apologize. Miss Gladys. You call your grandma Miss Gladys? Yeah. You don't have a grandma, do you? Not for real. <laughs> Nigga, Miss Gladys is crazy. You got All a right. fake grandma. Okay. I really don't. That's All what right. they like. That's enough. I think we I think we got enough, Marco. All right. Yeah, I will. Okay. I was waiting on you get up. Oh. All yeah. right. I'm gonna get up. You gonna you can go back. You good. Before I go, I just want to tell you, I got a lot going on. There's a, a documentary that's going to drop on Netflix, myself and Chris Rock, that you forgot to ask me about, probably, um, called Rock Heart. it be cool. I asked you about the heart, get heart, rock heart. You said... Okay. Uh, so... What's the date? <laughs> Niggas... <laughs> Niggas... <laughs> Nigga's still trying to promote his shit before he leave. Like, <laughs> nigga, didn't, nigga didn't do nothing. First week in November. I don't know the exact date. All right. I want to talk to you when you're done. Oh, uh, man, y'all, the fact that Kevin Hart just walked off on me in the middle of the interview is crazy. You just told me to get. That's, huh? You just said it ends if I walk away, man. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you follow up <sighs> with the Get Hard, him and Chris Rock. For the what? The Get Hard. The Get Hard. Rock Hard, man. Rock Hard. Rock Hard. Make sure y'all get it. You, you in, got bro. it, Marco. Rock Hard. You got it, brother. <laughs> I know I got it. God bless you. What the fuck did you just say? I'm saying I know. You can be next. Five and no, baby. I'm waiting. Rock Hard is pause. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas ain't really thinking about I appreciate about y'all for tuning in. Right See you guys later. Nah, there's something wrong with Funny Marco, bro. There really is. There's something wrong with that nigga.